All right, buddy. So, what's your name and where are you from? It's your boy LT Maine, Lieutenant Maine. That is all the way from the south, Mississippi, the dirty Mississippi, man. GTA area at that star. So you know, I got to rep for them Bulldogs, Hell State. You know how we do it. That's what's up, man. You done some time out in Mississippi. Uh, you're out in Georgia right now, trying to make some moves with the music and all that. Uh, we're gonna get into that, but first, let's talk about this prison stay, man. How much time you do, and uh, what prisons did you end up going to out there in Mississippi? Hands down, hands down. Being real with you, Mississippi State Penitentiary. You know, I did. I, I was given 16 years. They gave me 16 years in in 2010. You know, up under the statues of the charge. It was um 25 percent on it so i went on and did i did like three and a half on that and then you know they still kept me by the ankle with 15 more months on house arrest and you know all together i done done about five years in mississippi state penitentiary like i ain't talking no uh no 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 satellite i ain't talking no pc straight mississippi state penitentiary okay so you're out in the main line gp great it's great open population okay all right uh what'd you go to penitentiary for if you don't mind me asking oh you know i had some sale charges i ain't even gonna lie to you it's real because it's, it's, it's nothing that you know i gotta hide on that end it's just uh sale charges when you're dealing with the street then you 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 end up catching the bad end of the stick when you when you deal when you're dealing with business and some people you just can't do business with okay so, yeah let know, me I, let me talk about that for a second man uh how did you go about getting getting caught up man was it some some uh dude dropping dime on you how, how did it end up how did everything wrap up for you man well one time like at the time when you moving when you when you handling business i got the moving i just i just made a sloppy move when i'm dealing with business with somebody that's official but at the same time somebody that's around they people is is all the way snaking all the way ci you know just 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 dealing with these dealing with these narcotics dealing with these police is like police and basically so i end up i didn't i didn't just take on to it because you know I, I i felt it but i took the number to make sure i'm aware when they calling but at the same time i, I gave in by like two weeks i really tried to see what 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 what, what he kept calling me for but I actually just really just fell into the trap. It was a trap. I was 19. I'm 39. Yeah. I went in when I was 19, got out when I was 23. So they just set you up. All right, man. So let's talk about Mississippi prison life, man. I had someone on here that's done some time in Mississippi. And uh, he was talking about well, what's the politics like in there, man? Because, you know, out in Cali, you know, there's different racial segregations and stuff. Uh, some people, you know, certain races can't use this. Some races can't use that. How is it over there in Virginia? It's blended, man. You could use the same phone as the next brother that used the phone. You know what I mean? So, how is it like in uh, Mississippi? Is there anything like Cali or, or over here in VA? I'm gonna speak on. I'm gonna speak on the silk. Like when it comes down to Mississippi, especially the state penitentiary, and it's a it's a it's a different other a bunch of other facilities. You know, private facilities, you got regional facilities, but Mississippi State Penitentiary is all structure. You know, it's structure when it comes down to, okay, you, whatever race it, from races to uh, really organization members. I say it like that. You know, organization, different organizations, I mean, you just can't, every, everybody ain't going to accept you just because, uh, uh, or you, whether you a peon or nothing, or whether you a gangster disciple, whether you are a blood, no matter where, everybody ain't going to accept you. But you got you got people in in the Mississippi State Penitentiary that allow that because we 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 don't disrespect is one thing, and then when you run in a structure or you got a business, you win you win separate you win separate nothing. But when it comes down to well, hold on, I hate to stop you right there. That was a good piece, man. You said when it comes to business, you don't want to separate. You don't want to separate, and I said that before over in Cali, man business would be flowing much heavier if they didn't separate like that you know what i mean exactly. uh so i understand exactly what you're saying and that's a lot that's that's how it is over here in va i like to say it's more about their money man and they don't really they kind of bypass all that color shit and get right. that money man you know right when it comes down to your 
not only the money, like the money is most important, but when it comes down to money, you don't bring conflict or you don't bring, you know, the um the, the negative side into business of your money for one and then for two, your well being. You already you already locked up. Everybody locked up no matter no matter whether you got uh access to this or you you using, you know, wall phones or whatever. I mean, if you can help anybody you can that's just that's just coming sense. But you don't in, in the penitentiary, you know, handouts ain't and what's going down. Yeah. You know, you can you can you know, you know, you can lose your life out on somebody. Something that out here it don't mean nothing, but you can you can lose your life for that phone call that you, you probably took too long or you disrespect the wrong person or you you allowed you end up getting them jammed. You could be doing the wrong thing or calling wrong people or or you just ain't handling the business right or you not, you know, really just paying attention to the operation of things, then everybody can get down. You, you, you lose, everybody around you can lose. But I actually was, you know, in the state penitentiary. Not only that, I got big feet in the state penitentiary. And this all the way on YouTube, 23 in lockdown. I'd have been in lockdown. I ain't have to do much time on lockdown, but because of the way I operate, my brain, I won't allow them to, you know, close me and box me in when they, when they, when I, when they, when they, when they came. You know, so my thing is I keep it, I keep it, I keep it, you know, mutual with, with, with the staff. You know, you don't, you don't just keep it civilized. Staff. Right. You got to keep it civilized because, you know, we got to look, we got to look at what we're trying to get. We're trying to, we're trying to make a way. We're trying to open up doors. We're trying to make a pipeline at the same time. Business got to keep going no matter where, whether you're on the street or whether you locked down. So Mississippi State, for, for one thing I can say, Mississippi State Penitentiary, that's on YouTube. Lieutenant Man, you can ask about me. You can ask about me to the head, you know, and, and, and it's all it's all respect. You know, I'm not out here. I'm not gangbanging. I'm actually, you know, as far as the development of my people, the community, society, you know, and government, as far as government goes, politics goes, you know, you got to have understanding to even – even before you can even take on or try to even step to try to uh, protect yourself or get get what you know what's due to you, and that go for me, that go for you. You know, I'm the type of person that we gonna make sure everything's straight, not just for me, it's for us. You know, anytime I slide your way, I'm gonna make sure my people making sure your people straight, and that's me. Yeah, and you said another good piece. Before you can even approach anything, you got to have understanding of the situation. And that's the problem with a lot of people nowadays, uh, especially with law and stuff along those lines. People don't have understanding of it. They just go through the process without really doing the research and, and just move on by, you know. And you don't really want to know the understanding of it until you get locked the hell up. And then you're like, hold on, man. I got I to gotta, I gotta start learning this stuff because these people are saying words I don't even know what they mean. And I'm getting sentenced to the penitentiary. For 20 years and i don't understand what the hell the judge just said to me you know right and uh i, right. I understand that that's another good piece man um let me ask this and i ask people this in every prison if it's a new prison that comes from a new state uh i ask them the same thing have you seen other races click up with certain gangs like bloods and crips have you seen let's say white guys asian guys join gangs like that in that prison right i will say yes you know because like you know you got latin kings that ain't that ain't latin or, <laughs> you know, or not mexicans however they you know yeah you got but it's all about who allowed that or administrated it that's just like you got white guys that's a part of uh growth and development against the disciples you know but they they royal you know, up on a different branch. So you got you got different races that's a part of organizations, but it's got to be administrated right. It's got to be initiated right. Everybody that's screaming this or, or 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 claiming to be, it is not. You know, some people some people are just allowed just because of somebody allowed it that ain't even up on their knowledge themselves. But down here in Mississippi, if you not if you if you not certified, you an imposter. I'm a boss, and that's anywhere I go in in, in 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 the land where I walk. No matter where I go, even in the state penitentiary, you know we make every we make a lot of things come together, you know. And 
and in his in in his in his love is unity. And then you have the upside down too. You have the you have the you know you have the the imposters. You have the people that bring down. You know, or or or, or just could not supposed to be nowhere near. You know, a a, a a function. But at the same time, that's where we come in at. And we clear all that up because you ain't gonna let nobody walk in your house and tear it upside down. So that's what that's what the business is all about. But when people go to penitentiary, they gotta know. For one, you gotta know who you is. Can not nobody tell you who you is? You know, or or can nobody make you be nothing? You gotta know. For one thing, we you gotta be a man. Be a man, and 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 being part of an organization don't make you, you know, a uh, a. Uh, 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 a thug or 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 gang banger, whatever they want to call it, it just depends on how they how they handle themselves, character. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it got a lot to do with that, man. And Mississippi State Penitentiary, I ain't gonna lie to you, the same place where they shot life at, when Martin was out there. Oh, and stop playing, school. man! That was the same uh, prison, man. Same place where they shot life, Parchment, Mississippi. You can check it out. Go oh, jangling, jangling. <laughs> hey, man, speaking man. of jangling, was there a lot of janglings up in that penitentiary, man? Oh, yeah, you got to be careful. They might be standing right there next to you. <laughs> you know? Hey, they, 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 something everywhere. You got to be, you definitely got to watch them when they, when they want to talk about, they want to watch some clothes. I can understand a man with a hustle, but you don't just watch everything. You don't just yeah. come talking about you, you will watch my draws and nothing. you don't do none of that. Yeah. Watch my own damn draw. <laughs> I'm just being real, man. Yeah, but he might take them jakes, get a good little whiff in before he washes them, man. That's John yeah, nasty. Right. And look, uh, so the the name of the prison is Mississippi State Penitentiary. Yeah, Mississippi. That's MSP, Mississippi State Penitentiary. It's it's the head penitentiary in Mississippi, and that's that's located in the Delta, in Parchment. It's got its own land. Put it like that. That parchment ain't the city. Parchment is the land. Okay. And what was it? Dorm? You sent me some pictures. I'm I'm gonna clip a few of them at the end of this video. But that was a dorm setting, right? Right. And that was on a that was on an open po uh, population on the the ones I sent you right there. That was open population, and that was actually in Greenwood facility. That was another that was another facility that's in uh, Mississippi with those pictures. But I just had left parchment like it seemed like i couldn't get the the, the deal or you can we're gonna take you to the satellite or we're gonna let you go every time i did anything or call or have i only had one felony and just violations after them three years three and a half years i did and went back and i did another year at a time you know but they always send me right back to parchment it's like you never gave me a chance i i i, I grew up in the penitentiary yeah I, I yes, I, I learned how to be humble in the penitentiary. I learned how to have patience from the penitentiary. Like it, yeah. Don't get me wrong, it discombobulated me a lot, you know. But that's where you know I can say I look up heads up to the sky when I pray, you know. I believe that I believe with so much faith that during that time I never thought I'd probably see the see the streets again. I never, I never, you know, had to be in there that long. I burn out out the county. You know, you could burn out the county any day with just misdemeanors or, you know, petty charges. But when you get that felony, and then when you got, uh, when they got evidence, put it like that, or if you don't know your rights, or if you don't know your circumstances of your situation, even from, you know, your motion of discovery, like that's a lot of things. I've seen so many inmates come in and getting ready to get sentenced, but ain't even seen their motion of discovery. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, so you got people taking time when they could have been, you know, got that situated just on a, a lack of, a, a, due to a lack of evidence or anything. But I ain't gonna lie, they had me uh, red-handed, dead, dead red-handed because I was set up. Like I said, like, I was set up, but I, I, I overcame everything. I took in a lot, I lost a lot, but I came back and I gained a lot. That's what's up, every, man. Every, that, every tattoo, every tattoo I got, I got independent tattoos. Before I went in there, I never had a tattoo. Every tattoo I got. Well, tell me this: how how was the tattooing in there, man? Who was slinging the ink? White dude? What was it? That's, look, the way it did. Hey, that that's a good question. 
because people always ask, like, so who you had, Ted? Well, you know, they'll probably think that you can't have certain people. I had an AB tattered on my back. The same people that, the same people that, that you will say, you know, people say, well, you can't talk to them or they racist. I mean, that guy, now, when it comes down to business, ain't no such thing. That's the and same that's in Virginia, dog. Look, there was tattoo artists tattooing black dudes, white dudes tattooing black dudes, and they got swastikas all over their body. You know what I mean? Uh, that's right. just how it was. That's how, that's why it's so funny to me hearing about Cali politics compared to VA. And it sounds a lot like VA over there in Mississippi, man. Like you said, you can have some AB cat tatting you up. All all that matters is that you got the money, you good, respectful, and then you're out, out doing your business. You know. Only time that you separate each other if it's if it's actually um, conflict or confusion going on among different organizations, then of course I can't be sitting here talking to my guy I lay uh, over here like this away when yeah. I got a business. You know, like I know we was just playing fade together, but right now, if if it ain't the heads talking or some leaders talking, then we ain't talking because it could go any way. Yeah. The same way on the other side that you love, you know, it could still turn around and be, you know, you could be against each other in a split in a split second. But it's all about who you around, you know, and taking and who's taking care of business. Because sometimes you put people in in leadership uh, positions that can't actually that can't actually properly deal with that position. You know, everybody that's in in a leadership position or or got some rank or authority ain't meant to be in that position. Yeah. That's why you know things change. But when you got the right people in position. Oh, we ain't gonna stop no money. As long as this business is good. So I don't care if you purple, you green, you white. You know, we even, you know, certain certain staff, they're gonna bring it in. I hate yeah. to say it, but you can't stop it. Yeah, that, that brings me to my next question, man. How's the staff up there? Or down there? You got your you got your assholes, um, you know, staff members, whether they be young, older, you know, you got some complete uh, inconsiderate people. You got some people that really only there just to get a check. And I understand that that's the, that's the, that's what it, that's what you came to work for. But you're dealing with lives. You're dealing with human lives that's been um, uh, incarcerated. Not only incarcerated, you know, taken from their families. You know, not only their families. You know, you know, just they, that life, that peace of mind, that freedom. So you know, you got some people that don't care at all. And them the ones that you you know you have officers getting the slaughter law. I mean, everybody ain't gonna take it. The, the wrong officers, the officers you might feel like you could just do something because you're an officer, but it ain't going down like that. Not not in Mississippi penitentiary. They 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 liable to get hit 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 down, beat down, just like an inmate can. So, yeah. But you got K nine down there too. Like you know you got K nine in the Mississippi State Penitentiary. So when it gets cold blue when it get you know hectic you know they coming too and they coming like uh, like an army they don't care them about you so you you might end up getting beat up you can't call your phone because they gonna put you on lockdown the food garbage they gonna treat you like garbage but you got some people that work in there that will try their best to assist anything that you need you know whether it be help with medical whether it be reaching out or uh, make sure your mail properly going to where it's going. You got people that hold your mail. You got people that's gonna make sure you get it. Then you got people that don't care if you get it, you know? And then they gonna invade your privacy on certain things. You know, ain't no privacy in the state penitentiary unless you really know who you dealing with or know how to do things. But uh, they ain't stop, they ain't stop nothing yet down here. I got a lot of people, I got people doing life right now. I would had somebody that was, my, my family, that was doing life, rest in peace to Sarah Dora from Columbus, Mississippi, was doing life. And he was fighting his case, you know, and he, he died. He died a couple months ago, almost a year now. He was uh, looking forward to getting out and he had the money to do it, you know, but when you're dealing with cases like in them positions and in, 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 in a situation, you know, sometimes, you know, everything don't work out in your favor, but to the ones that fighting them cases, I gotta say, you know, I, I give, Mass salute to and love to. That's for my brothers, to others, and to men, period. 
if they trying to hold it down and been behind that wall more than more than what the usual, you know, a year or two, you know, when you talk about three, four, five years or even life, you know, it get complicated and you get stressed, you know, and he died from brain aneurysm, so they say, you know, and that's a lot on the brain. Yeah. And at the same time, you know, I got shout out uh Clarksdale, Big G Red, you know, brothers that actually that showed me how to be to discipline myself, stay dedicated and be determined. Determination. You know, never giving up. You know, it was days I said enough looking out that window. I don't see no McDonald's. I don't see I see cars, but they show when they come in to get me. And uh you were in a wide open field. I'm talking about Nam Wetland plantation. You know, some people don't make it. Yeah. I just, I just happen to be I just happen to be one of the strong ones. Let me see here. How was the weapons in that damn penitentiary, man? Was there a lot of shanks running around? Were, were people Cell phones jumping. How was it? How was it like that with the contraband in there, man? Contraband, contraband, contraband. You said that's my favorite word. <laughs> contraband. That's one of my favorite words, man. If you ain't got no contraband, you, you you really ain't got nothing to do with me because we gotta survive. You gotta you gotta protect yourself. So ain't nobody in their right mind gonna sit in there and not have no weapon. So they coming. They coming every day. Whether the whether whether you know you go out. You you make it. I might tear the fence up. I might I might go in and, and, and tell a whole knob about this or whatever I want to do. I might get it wherever I got to get it from, where it's coming from the kitchen, where it's coming, walking it through. I might have a free world uh, knife in there versus a shank. You then you then took a piece of something and sharpened it. I bring them whole the real knives. A whole steak knife, huh? I'm talking about the bring the whole the bring the whole kitchen to them. You know, that's, <laughs> Well, let me ask you this, man. Uh, what do you think was your scariest moment in the penitentiary? My scariest moment? Yeah. I like to ask that question, man. Because everybody got, got a little moment where they're a little worried, man. Yeah, yeah, man. It got it get like that. I'd have had a bunch of them. I ain't going to lie. You said the most scariest. I'd have had a bunch of damn scary moments. <laughs> I mean, when, when, when everything just seeming like it's good, when you do got to... The mind, you ain't stressing right now. You just doing time, but then you look over and then your brother or your your superiors or yo 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 your ranking officer let you know, oh, it's about to go down right now. Like when you seeing people just moving around, or you come get the word, what you call it, just went up there and grabbed his uh, I just seen him with a knife, or I just seen him with a tool, just going baby. He just went and got wet. What you mean he just went and got wet? Or oh, now we all finna get him. And then I mean that's the that's probably about the worst when you just not aware of something that's going on, but it's going on. You know, you never know. Just because you wanna be cool and keep everything copacetic, the next man, he ready to do something to a guy just because okay, he felt disrespected. That's the number one thing when you're feeling disrespected. But the most scary is when man, I mean, fights just break out, then you got you got the the, 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 the staff coming in there spraying mate. I'm talking about hard down me, smoky, cloudy me, and you can't even see, you know. So you just gotta be able to survive in the jungle. You gotta, you gotta really know how to carry yourself, and you gotta fight. Like if you gotta fight, you gotta fight. And I'd have had to fight when times I didn't want to, and I had the hell of business when I, when I had to, and I did that. That's for my love, that's for my people, and that's for the 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 the, the, the whole the whole us as a whole, you know, a whole, a whole building, you know, we're not going to sit in here and let it go upside down just because you got one or two people want to be ignorant, you know, but at the same time, it get ignorant, you know, real, real fast. So when it, when it, when it, when it comes down to you not knowing something and it's going on, that's probably about the serious it can get for me. Yeah. You know, so when the man might be sent just to take one of your men down because something happened in another facility and it's carrying on. You know, it get like that. But now down in Mississippi, I ain't gonna lie, it's cleaning up a lot. You got people that's actually like you can't do certain things that you could that was being done years ago. You know, they they even shut down. They had to shut down a lot down in Mississippi the state penitentiary. You still got your seat custody where people locked down in cells twenty three and one. You know, but they had a straight facility locked down count count thirty two, but they had to shut that down. Cause too many people die, 
Yeah. You know, you got officers. You got officers. They 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 catching it first. They can they and they ain't catching it because they they saying the wrong thing. They catch it because they ain't doing what they probably somebody just told them. You I want this and I mean I want this. You know you got some guys in there that don't care nothing about um, you going home because they ain't going home. Yeah. So, you know it get yeah that's the worst feeling right there, man. When somebody ready to kill. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you know not, someone's willing to kill, and they don't give a shit about killing. That is some scary yeah. individuals. I've seen some cats like that, man. I knew that he would kill a fool no matter, you know, it didn't matter. If it came down to it, he'd kill you. Uh, let me ask you, I got two more questions to ask you, man. First off, I made a video on this. I just want to hear your input on it and see what, uh, if it kind of uh, goes along with what I said in the video. What do you think is the best thing for someone to do if they lose a fight? The best thing to do if they lose a fight, I I would say uh, you say so. Tell me this: Are you saying a lose a fight in the penitentiary or lose a fight? Yeah, it's a one on one. It's a one on one, and you lose. What do you think you should do after you lose the fight? The whole thing about it is, you just gotta own up. You gotta man up to whatever, whatever you put yourself in, whatever position you put yourself in. If you choose whatever your consequences, whatever your action. You just gotta hold up for it. But okay, you lose a fight. But the thing about it is, a lot of one on one fights you ain't gonna see in the penitentiary around here if it ain't just some old, uh, just random, nobody in no functional organization guy yeah. got, got the fight, you know, because when you can't put your hands on no organization without it's gonna be a hole like that. But if you, it gets like that, where it will be orchestrated, you know, and, um, administrated to the point of where okay we can make this happen and and you know we uh everybody you know agree on that you know so like i said if you lose when it's and 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 and, and, and everybody trying to keep the peace or like it's, okay that's it i would just say take it take it like a man take it like a man is when you lost that one you just gotta hey you gotta stay up on yourself you just gotta protect yourself a little bit more you gotta you gotta put some more techniques into whatever your movement is you gotta be a little quicker than that you know, at the same time, I mean, it's still, you know, you know, you can take it like it was a loss, or you could just take it like a, hey, he got, he got the best, he, he got the best, but you, you fighting. So if you a fighter to the end and you hold up like a man and, and take it like a man, you still a winner. You know, at the same time, if you do something totally opposite of respecting it, that means uh, putting other people in jeopardy or put yourself back in jeopardy and you ain't even ready for this, you ain't prepared for this, or it's just something you got to choose your own battles. You can't just you can't just do it like that. I mean, it, it don't serve no purpose. You ain't doing that by hurting yourself. I would say, man, go sit back and chill and uh, try not to go uh, get back involved or whoever you just got involved with because you just smash it down, you know. So I wouldn't want to go keep getting smashed. But if I felt like, you know, like, no, nah, I really need some more... Uh, some get back. I need, yeah, and then get back, or I need some more. I need this right here resolved some more. So I ain't done until I feel like I'm done. And I mean, then you can't do nothing but just get it some more until the, the best man win. You go, somebody going to eventually stop. But if you just, just, just fighting to be fighting, you just getting, 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 getting the better, get somebody getting the best of you, then that's plain and simple, man. I leave that guy alone or whoever, whoever. <laughs> Wise words, man. Wise words. We'll yeah, talk. All right, uh, last one, man, and then we're gonna we're gonna talk. Uh, you can go ahead and shout out whatever you got going on. Uh, what do you think is the best piece of advice for someone, uh, regardless of race, to anyone as a group? What's the best piece of advice you would give them to do their time in prison in Mississippi? All right, so your phone got disconnected because uh, phone died. Your phone died. We got disconnected. But what I was saying is, we're gonna wrap it up. I got a couple. I got one more question to ask you uh, before you uh, go and make whatever shout outs you want to make. For sure. Uh, if you were to give someone some advice, uh, no particular group, any race, any one individual, what would it be going into Mississippi Penitentiary? The best advice I could give you, best advice I could give somebody going into the Mississippi State Penitentiary is, for, for, for one, first thing first, stay prayed up. 
You know, I can't tell that's nobody. Good answer. That's know. a good answer, boy. You know, I can't tell nobody what the who the who the who they want to believe or just believe in the real. You know, believe in God. You know, what I'm saying like, take care of your business. You know, first thing first. Don't don't. I'm gonna tell you what somebody told me. Don't do no more than what you gotta do. Don't do no more than what you gotta do. That, you that's a good care. answer too. Don't do no more than what you gotta do. Don't be too extra. I like that. Got to keep it. Got to keep it like that. Got to. You got to. Got to know how to take care of yourself. To survive, no matter where you go. Stay prayed up. Don't do no more than what you got to do. Get out of there. And then you got to have a. You got to have a turnaround plan. You got to have. You got to make some change. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever caused that, you can't allow that because you can't keep falling in the same hole. Yeah, I know that's right. And uh, speaking of change, what you doing out there in the streets, man? You 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 in a little. You got your rap thing going on. You got some music going on. What's going on with yeah. you? Now, we're getting ready actually to make a, uh, it's a real movement going on. I got a lot of people behind me. You know, it's Bankroll Forever. It's Boys of a Billion. That's the label. Bankroll Forever. Boys of a Billion. All Head Posse. KSG. If you out there, in the, if you ever out in Atlanta, you need some engineer going on, or you need some mix and master, or you need the hottest track, I'll let C Shaw, KSG C Shaw. You can look him up. You know, he got a whole, uh, whole, a whole nother, Inferno going on, man, and it's just his love. He dealt dealt with some of the greatest, from R. Kelly to Change to J. Money, Cadillac Dunn. So Mississippi, when it comes down to it, I am the boss of the South. L.T. Man, you can check my video out, my latest video out. It's on YouTube. Just go in there and type it in. L.T. Dot Main, M-A-I-N-E. L.T. Dot Main, Space Bad Boy. Shot by Marcus Stalk. You know, affiliated with a lot of the greats out there. Big up to Gotti in the whole camp, everything they got going on. But Marcus Stahl, send me. Don't forget them three-letter MSL. Check him out. Check my video out. LT Main Bad Boys on the two. Check my uh my Facebook out. Uh, You you hit it up. LT Main, LT Main. And that's how you see LT Main. That's me. It's certified. It's love. I come with love. It ain't nothing we can't get through. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing we can't make happen. And I'm right down here, touching down in the A. Big up to 23 in lockdown. 23 and 1 lockdown. It's mad love for you, bro. I appreciate the love. Keep doing what you're doing. And be blessed. Yeah, man. And look, send me uh, likewise to you too, man. And I appreciate you coming on to the show. Uh, send me all the links you got. I'm going to keep them in the description of the video. And pin it in the comment section for anybody that wants to go check out his music. And uh, look, while you're out there in... Uh, Good old Georgia, man. Oh, yeah. If you find some real cats out there, man, that want to come on to the show, just shoot them my way, you know? Because I ain't had nobody from the Georgia Penitentiary yet. Okay, okay. All right. I guarantee, you know, I'll make sure I shoot out, uh, shoot that out to you. Where, 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 actually, where you at right now? I'm in Virginia Beach, man. Okay, you said you're in the VA. Okay. I'm going to make sure, man, I got you locked in. Not only that, never know when I might be that way or you down this way. Anytime you come down this way, 23 and 1 lockdown, that's on my word, that's on my soul. You good. 100 well, good. It's love. Fred the Dip. I'm going to take you and let you go get Fred the Dip. <laughs> hey, Fly that's down. what's up, man. Hey, I'm, I'll probably take you up on it because I come through Georgia all the time, man. Oh, yeah. Like I told you, man, it's mad love. Check that video out, your, that video out yourself. At the same time, like I said, don't forget the other cats. I don't want to leave nobody out. You know, like I said, bankroll forever, KSG. Is love. Then Marcus Stark shooting that video for me. I appreciate you, big homie. Appreciate everybody that held me down when I was locked down. Even the guidance, the ones that stood right there with me and showed me how to maneuver and keep my head and stay balanced. And tell that dignity. You hold your crowns up. And love, free the real. And y'all stay out the penitentiary. If you out here, stay out that penitentiary or stay out that county. Cause there's so much of the things you could be doing. You're making the left turn, wrong turn. So hold it down and shout out to my count. Uh, Bay Rose forever, Mac Boney, and uh, Lil Al King Gal. You already know how we rocking. So we can't, we can't, you know, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna never stop. We won't stop. Can't stop like Pete did it. Bad boy. <laughs> I know that's right, man. But look, you keep safe out there, man. And uh, yeah. just stay positive and stay free. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. All right, dog. You be easy out there, man. And don't forget to send me those links. I got the links coming to you, man. Keep doing your thing, man. I like what you're doing. That's 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 mad motivation, man. You know, it take it takes somebody with a good spirit to do what you're doing, man. That's mad love. You always got my 
You got my vote and you got my uh, backup, man. I'll bring the count for you. Call me. Hit me up. I appreciate hey, that, bro. You be easy hey, out there, man. <laughs> hey, Rose, <Rose. laughs>